I'm Aaron Nahani, and I was diagnosed with a glioblastoma wild form, March, April time. So following my diagnosis, uh, my family heard about your clinic in, um, in Germany. So we went straight there to get dendritic cell therapy which I believe really helped me with uh yeah with chemo and radiotherapy. I think the second we heard of it we wanted to get going, isn't it? Yeah, because the, they, they don't offer anything like that here. So the only the only treatment that Aaron was offered was chemotherapy and radiotherapy. Mm. Um and we were wanting to um to explore a little bit more um you know speaking to oncologists about different um Therapies like uh, you know dendritic cell or T cell or um, immunotherapy, there was none of it um, offered, um, and it was um, actually they said that even dendritic cell therapy would not work. So because they've not had um, you know the research has not um, been completed, or even if it was, it was then the results were not as positive. So, but we wanted to to just try what we could um and yeah so that's when we got in touch with yourselves i think we we didn't know where we wanted to go um and then we you know we were kind of directed um to your site when we completed the initial questionnaire and because it turned out to be such a quick availability we just went for it so it wasn't um it, it wasn't that we were deciding which country to go to. I think Germany was the, the closest, the easiest um, drive to it. Um, and then, um, yeah, because we, we had, you know, we heard in general that uh, Germany probably is more advanced in that respect. We were uh, given an um, sort of a, um, an appointment and that's when we went for it. So we didn't really... We we did our own research and we spoke to um I think Kate from um from um the company and uh, then we were just uh, advised of the availability of appointment uh, on a particular day and then just we went for it. I, I think at the time when Aaron was receiving dendritic cell therapy, this was before the chemo radiotherapy treatment. So um. I think dendritic cell therapy helped in one way, in one way, but um, in a sense where you know when he started the treatment, other symptoms appeared. So where like his left side of the, his body was affected, um, and so we needed. Um, I think I guess there was just the time to complete treatment and to to see what dendritic cell, how it's going to be affected, is going to work. So when, when we received his diagnosis, which was a shock for all of us, um, we then got in touch with friends that live in Germany. Um, and really, so we it, we were sent a link. Um, and given that I had, we had so many negative comments being made, I really did not believe that, or, or didn't think that anything so quickly is going to materialize. So I completed the the form for booking how, and then I was very pleasantly surprised how quickly we received a call, um, and how accommodating um Kate was. So just to kind of go through with it all the time, and like with any questions that we may have, including weekends. Um, you know, until we got to to the clinic, to the hotel, and everything was uh, was organized. So it was brilliant. I, I think for me is the it, the the truly is the communication and following through throughout the whole process. So from the start when we completed the form, any questions that we may or that we had, you know, through to the payment whilst we were in Germany, you know, organizing the transport. Um, you know, to the clinic, from hotel to the um, to um, to the airport, 
um i think is is that you know is is knowing that you have someone there that you can actually contact and every time i contacted whether it was you know um um kate or anybody it was i always received um a call back i always received a, a you know a kind of a, a feedback on guidance whatever i needed i i think when we met the professor i think that was the first time when yeah he was very friendly yeah um and it was i think the first professor that actually t- took us through you know how dendritic cell how radiation and chemotherapy would work um it was we were made very much at ease because the first time we went there it was um we had to drive because Aaron was told that he cannot fly. Um, and then when we spoke to Professor, he was explaining, you know, you can't fly, it's safe to fly. So the next time when we went for the vaccine, um, we were we actually flew and the journey was much easier, wasn't it? Yeah. So um, you know, he, he took the time to explain. It was very uh were made very much at ease, comfortable. Um, you know, there was no tension, there was a very relaxed atmosphere, you know, he has a very good sense of humor, so it really, you know, takes the the diagnosis kind of, which is, you know, a shock in itself, away, um, and uh, you leave with hope, and, and that's what you really need at the time. Yeah, yeah so my results were that my tumor had actually shrank significantly. So, so the the tumor because it's globular stone multiform is 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 not in one area, so it is it, it covers a quite a large part of his brain, and that's mm-hmm. why the radiotherapy treated a very large part of his brain. So the last um, MRI results we have that um, low. Part of this tumor was a low grade, um, and part of it was high grade. So the low grade areas shrunk significantly, um, and also the high grade tumor, uh, which is at the frontal lobe, um, is shrunk as well. So and um, and moving forward, we see good results in terms of, yeah. you know, neurologically, Aaron is is more alert. Is you know before, although he started. Um, maintenance dose of chemotherapy so he might be dazed a little bit today <laughs> so but but in general we are seeing better results i think for me is you know you know just try it everyone is is really different and it affects um everyone differently um i think you know for for us as a family um and especially as a mother i couldn't you know i even if if uh, the results would not be to what we had, I wanted to explore everything. Um, and I think, you know, dendritic cells therapy is not going to cure everything, uh, but it's definitely going to uh, prevent um, from reoccurring potentially. Um, and also overall well-being whilst people are going through different, well, certainly it was for Aram and he was going through um, chemotherapy and radiotherapy, which was grueling six weeks, you know, um, 51 sessions of radiotherapy, you know, for, for your brain is, is quite a lot. And during that time, he, whilst he was, you know, dazed a little bit, as it is expected, like a brain fog, um, I think, you know, you've maintained everything else. You've not had issues with speech, you've not had issues with... Um, um, eating or drinking so um you know we all feel that dendritic cell therapy definitely definitely helped in that respect